the Florida Pearl Novices chases the penultimate race of the day, then two miles, six furlongs for novices this time. And the top one is Ghost Rider Leon Van Rensburg. Like dusting crops, Joshua Sutherland, man from Anga Afghanistan. Martin Leader, Musty Mutt, Stu Gray, and pulling your leg, Graham Clutterbuck. So only five then in this race. So prize money for all if they get round. And racing down towards the first of the fences, it's Musty Mutt. It looks like he's going to be the leader. So we've got three of the top trainers and two of the commentators in this. So <laughs> it's Musty Mutt in the lead. And like dusting crops on the outside. And pulling your leg. Man from Afghanistan and Ghost Rider as they take the first. And they're all over that one nicely. And they are going pretty quick. Or maybe they just appear to be going pretty quick. Because the last couple of races have been four milers. And it's like dusting crops. Who leads by a length and a half in the... Joshua Sutherland colours, I think, to pull in your leg in second. And Musty Mutt in third as they take that one. All over that one. The grey is Ghost Rider, and the back marker is the man from Afghanistan. So it's like dusting crops who leads by a couple of lengths then to Musty Mutt for Stu Grey in second. And Graham Clutterbuck's pulling your leg third as they take the third. And over that one they go. And they're all jumping nicely at the moment with like dusting crops leading their virtual Indian file at this stage. With like dusting crops, musty mutt, pulling your leg, ghost rider, and man from Afghanistan as they come up past the stand. We go round again, of course. It's always our last next time. Oh, man from Afghanistan's gone at the back, so the man from Afghanistan is out of the race. So that particular trainer won't be picking up fifth place prize money then. And that particular trainer happens to be me. So it's like dusting crops in the lead, musty mutt, and pulling your leg. Ghost Rider the Grey is fourth. So they race past the winning post with a complete circuit to go and four left. And so we don't get too many more fallers, or we could. Oh, we've got another one gone. Musty Mutt gone. So there you go. The two commentators are out of the race. Musty Mutt Stu Grey is a faller. And then there were three. So it could be a case of follow you, follow me here then, couldn't it? As Light Dusting Crops is the leader. We're down to the six, and so we don't get anybody else for because we could, it could be, get rather silly. But like dusting crops is the leader. They are novices these days, so I suppose we shouldn't be surprised that they're making mistakes. Well, to be fair, they weren't making mistakes. They've just fallen. And that's been the thing. Uh, all appeared to be jumping well until they fell. So like dusting crops then. It's clear and seemingly comfortable in the lead. From the grey ghost rider in second, and pulling your leg is in third place. They come down to the seventh. Oh, they to jump that nicely. Slow jump by Graham Clutterbox pulling your leg. And the three of them pretty spaced out now at the moment. A couple of lengths between each of them. We had like dusting crops. The leader, Ghost Rider, second and grey. And pulling your leg in third place. So just a mile and a quarter left to go then. And like dusting crops. Comfortable in the lead. Ghost Rider second. Pulling your leg moving up on his ass. Oh, he's gone! He's down! The lead has gone! Well, like dusting crops went right through that one and suddenly we're down to a two-piece now. It's a, it's the dynamic duo. It's Ghost Rider and pulling your leg and nobody else left. And there's still a mile to go and plenty more fences to jump, so this could get interesting. Ghost Rider lands in the lead from pulling your leg second. It's... Leon against Grey. This is a battle of the behind the scenes whiz kids, this one, isn't it? It's um, Ghost Rider and pulling your leg. Down to the 10th. And the Grey landed in the lead, but pulling your leg looks to be going the better of the two at the moment. And he's about a neck up on the outside. So pulling your leg from Ghost Rider. Pulling a leg by a neck, Ghost Rider in second. As they come to the 11th, and again, a better jump by pulling a leg on the outside. The great horse just jumped in a little bit slower and lost about a length. Pulling your leg then. Ghost Rider just being switched to the outside of pulling your leg as they come down to the third last. And again, it's the same thing. Pulling your leg gains a little bit of ground in the air, gets away from the fence quicker. And Ghost Rider looks to be toiling there. And pulling your leg, starting to pull away. Three, four clear. Two fences to jump still though. With the second last, jumped it nicely. Ghost Rider jumped it much better that time. 
they're coming down towards the final fence. They've got two furlongs to race still. And pulling your leg looks to be comfortable in the lead by six or seven lengths, but we've already seen three, four, and we've got one more fence to go. And pulling your leg stood off it, but got away with it. And Ghost Rider's trying to chase him in second. There's a furlong to go. I think pulling your leg has got this one pretty much sewn up. As Ghost Rider's not making any impression on him at all. And up towards the line, this is going to be another win for Graham Clitterbuck. He's had a good start to the season, isn't he? Great. And up towards the line, it's a win for pulling your leg. Ghost Rider second, and they were the only two that finished. So, pulling your leg, Graham Clitterbuck wins it then. Ghost Rider, Leon van Rensburg second, and all the other three failed to complete the course.